Ubudolve has been the main town to visit in Bali and many even choose to live here. But how is it now? Is it too busy now? Has it already lost its magic? Let's find out. It's actually my first time in Ubud in a year or more, so it's interesting to see now how has it developed and how is everything here now. I think this Kretia place is quite new here in Tegalalang rice fields. It's really amazing. I didn't know it. Like it's, it, I'm impressed. Like it's nicer than I expected. It's just incredible place. And the entrance fee was actually just 50k, so three dollars is quite good. You don't necessarily need an expensive resort to have this kind of place with nice views and infinity pools like this Bali style. It's also rainy season now, so we'll see how the weather will be, but at least for now it has been really good sunny weather most of the time here in Ubud, so not too bad. Yeah, usually rainy season is worse in Ubud in my experience than in Changu and Uluwatu, so hopefully it doesn't get too rainy and like that. But yeah, in this video I will show you all the new restaurants and new places to go and how it is developed with gyms and activities and everything in Ubud and all the prices for everything. So basically anything you need to know about Ubud if you're planning to come here you will get in this video. My parents are also for the first time in Bali so we'll see how they will react to everything here in Ubud. They are showing the process of making the Katku coffee, Luwak coffee, where the <laughs> it goes through the animal. They're showing here how it's made. I actually tried it a few years ago. It was it was good coffee. Ubud is also known for really good food. There's so many nice options. We came to our favorite restaurant so far, Plant Bistro. They have really good pizzas and the views are really nice. And it's just a nice restaurant. I will throughout the video show more of the restaurants and ratings for the food when we try different places in Ubud. The pizza is so good and we just got some sushi also food heaven here in <laughs> Ubud. You know in Ubud there's no beach of course, there's no ocean. So where should you go for sunset? We came to check my favorite place from a few years ago, this walk place where the views used to be super super nice but now it seems like there's like too many bushes so <laughs> there's not that many views but it's still a nice place to have a walk or run. Yeah it's still a nice place and there's not too many people, quite many but not too many. But yeah, I don't know where in Ubud would be a good place to go for sunset. Maybe in some of the like cliff bars or restaurants. We will see that also later, how those would be. There's some nice temples and jungle on the way out from the walk. I would definitely recommend coming to check the walk, but it's also much better with the drone <laughs> than actually in real life because of all the bushes, so it's not so good anymore, but it's still nice. They are marketing this Balinese fire yeah. that shows everywhere in Ubud now, so we came to check this one. And this is the villa we are staying now. It's two bedroom villa in really nice location. I will show the bedroom next, but yeah, it's basically around $90 per night. So not the most affordable. There are many, many options with this kind of price range. And actually we found some that look a little bit nicer. We will maybe show you around later, but yeah, it's pretty peaceful spot also here. There's also some guest houses that are as cheap as like uh, 12 to 20 dollars per night that are in the center. So there's definitely options for any budget here and of course some luxury resorts. And this is the first bedroom we're staying and there's also another bedroom. It's a little bit older place so it's not like the most cleanest or anything but it's pretty nice design and homey. And this is the bathroom we're having. It's huge a little bit older and this is the another bedroom they have here they made a pretty nice design but yeah should be a little bit better condition in the kitchen and everything being more clean we are checking another villa option we could stay and <laughs> This is so Ubud like this, like small, small alleyways and you need to walk like this to get to the villa. <laughs> it's really typical here. We are checking the villa now. It's so peaceful area, but a little bit walk to get here. That's nice. 
So basically this place is like a two bedroom also, but a little bit cheaper even and it looks more clean. But let's see, I'm checking the bedroom here. Basically the problem with the current place is that it's not so clean and there's like big gaps with the door. So all the bugs come in, there's all the bugs in Ubud. They kind of have the same problem here, there's even some gaps in the roof. But yeah, it's nicer design and feels more clean and new for sure. But not sure if it's worth it to change here. Yeah, it's definitely nicer design here. It's newer overall, but not sure if my mom would think it's not homey enough. Good luck, we never die down. Together we can fly now. There's of course a million things to see around Ubud, that's what is famous for all the waterfalls and temples and everything. Today we're checking this one not so famous waterfall and temple area. We'll see if we can find it. Yeah, we're probably lost. <laughs> it's just middle of the jungle, not sure where the waterfall is. Well, this looks better. Yeah, I think it's temple place also with the waterfall. Yeah, it's a holy waterfall, so it was a bit more expensive. But it's pretty cool area and they offer a lot of different offerings and purifications and anything that people do it in the water to make you feel better. It's pretty interesting place. I never heard it before. I think it's not the original famous ones. It was really cool to experience this and it's also really close to Ubud. We paid on like three dollars for the grab drive with the car to come here and it's easy and simple. But there's of course so many nicer like bigger waterfalls and so many more amazing places to visit in Ubud and we will show some of them in this video. But after the waterfall it was time to go for a lunch to one of our favorite restaurants in Ubud called Zest. This is definitely a must visit restaurant when you're in Ubud. It's a fully vegan restaurant that has such a unique atmosphere. It used to be my favorite restaurant in Ubud but nowadays they changed the menu a little bit. It's more expensive and there was less really nice looking options and all the food we tried was good but not the best ever like it was before, so a little bit disappointing. All the spiritual things in Ubud are also, of course, the best ever. There's so many places to do yoga, events and retreats and all kinds of spiritual things. There's so many places and we came today to Yoga Barn, the most famous place to do yoga and all kinds of spiritual things. We have some kind of chakra healing workshop yoga class session today. We'll see how it is. It's really cool how they have so many different things every day. There's so many people doing all kinds of things. I think after the yoga we will also take cacao. It's really nice here. It's uh, like a spiritual thing to do in Bali. I will show that after the class. This place is so big there's <laughs> so many things I guess that's why they can keep so many glasses and events every day because there's a million places to do yoga and everything after yoga cacao in yoga born it's so good I had it a few years ago and you need to focus on your heart chakra or something and intuition or something when you take it it's a nice experience here but yeah the yoga is actually so good I was really not feeling so good today, physically and mentally, and tired, but after the yoga I feel really good. My whole body just opened up and the teacher was really, really good actually. Probably the best yoga i ever done and also just feel so much more relaxed and centered or whatever after it. So yeah, highly recommend it to try that. And after the yoga we did some shopping in Ubud center. It's actually really cool at night because it's not too hot to walk around or drive around the center area. There's so many shops and markets and everything. It's definitely the best and most unique place to do shopping and go around in the evening in Bali. And there's so many different restaurants and cafes around. We tried Acai Queen a few times in Ubud because yeah, it was really nice. They had these bowls and also the smoothies were really really good. We just moved to this new two-bedroom villa and we're so lucky somehow we ended up staying in this place. It's nice here the living room kitchen area is indoors so you can have it cool and nice so it's more comfortable than the previous place. And yeah I'm like generally surprised to find even this nice place. I mean it was really expensive in the Airbnb listing so with the discount it's only like uh, suitable for us but yeah it's good that there's options like this also that are brand new and really really nice in good area also this is actually close to the previous place in super nice area and this is the first bedroom downstairs that is a little bit smaller I will show next the upstairs where we're staying but even this is super nice design and the bathroom also here. I think they just built this basically super new and all the designs so 
very well. And this is the upstairs where we're staying. <laughs> it's really amazing design in this villa and the views are like palm trees and just Ubud waves everywhere. And yeah, it's really spacious here. Feels like a villa we could actually stay <laughs> like long term or super long. I, I really love the design here and there's table here for working better than in the previous one. And every everything is basically seems really perfect, I think. We're super lucky to stay here with this kind of price. The balcony of the main bedroom is so big also. A nice design, a lot of space for activities. I really love like the views also and the location is pretty much perfect like in the center of Ubud, like close to all the nice restaurants here. And this is a good example how sometimes in Bali you can get a place that is way outside of your budget if you just contact them directly and go see the place in person they can give you a good discount especially if you're staying for monthly or if you're booking last minute how we were now. And this is the bathroom we're having. It's really spacious also and so nice design. They really think of making everything so nice here. But now it's time to do a must-do activity here in Ubud monkey forest it's really famous i think it's definitely a must go place in ubud i used to think that it's too touristic and not so fun but actually it was so fun this time there's not even that many people and so so many monkeys and it's just so fun to look what they're doing because they're always just doing something crazy there and the whole area is just so like a jungle like it's really cool jungle area so yeah definitely a must visit and recommended to go check it out we came for morning paddle to jungle paddle here in Ubud and it seems like there's so many more like uh, sports centers, gyms, paddle, everything coming in Ubud so it's definitely developing a lot the last few years. It's pretty awesome place like there's rice fields and palm trees all around. <laughs> it's really nice vibe here. It's really beautiful place to come play paddle. But yeah, the problem again is kind of similar than in Uluwatu that there's not so many open games, just few when I check for the next many days. So it can be a little bit hard here if you come alone and you don't have players to play with to find even open games. So it's not perfect, but it's still really nice that there's many paddle places coming to Ubud also. After paddle, smoothie, close to home. <laughs> Looks good. <laughs> oh, it's so good. And now it's time to go to the pool. It's really nice here to have a nice pool because of course there's no ocean so yeah you need somewhere to cool down and play some ball. So good. Oh my god. <laughs> we came to do a massage in Corsa Spa. This spa is really awesome. It was my favorite a few years ago. It's just middle of the rice fields and it's so peaceful. And the massage was the best I ever had, the most calm. I think it's the real traditional Balinese massage they do here. We'll see if it's as good as it was a few years ago still here. I'm super excited to see. Look how beautiful the place is. I think it's just like uh, worth it to just come here to see this area. It's so peaceful and so beautiful rice fields. I really love Ubud for this kind of thing. And this place is not even the most expensive one here. It's pretty okay price for what it is. Yeah, it's so good massage. I feel like a newborn baby after the massage. It feels so relaxing. I highly recommend trying this place. It's definitely my favorite I found in Bali or in the world, basically. I love Ubud. Today we came to this famous temple by the water. We actually rented the car for the whole day for 650k, so quite good price to export the whole North Bali. It's pretty nice here, but we definitely need a nicer lighting and <laughs> weather to have the magic of this temple. But yeah, after this, I will show the best waterfall in Bali for you and for my parents, I'm super excited. And then also there's some new cafes close to the volcano with awesome views, so we will check that also afterwards. There's quite many people here, but it's not too bad, but we'll see how it is in the waterfalls. Is it too crowded already? Because the first time I was there, like four or five years ago, it wasn't too bad. There was only a few people there, but we'll see if it's like that still. I really hope so. On the way to the waterfall, we we're shown all kind of <laughs> local <laughs> fruits and spices. Durian, papaya, 
kakao. Udah gini dia kayak kenapa? Udah kakao. Kalau yang bawah. Oh, it's really nice. New point. Long hike already, but now we need to hike even all the way down there. <laughs> but yeah, the entrance ticket with the guide was 150k per person, so not too bad for the experience because this is definitely the best waterfall in Bali. It's really nice here. We're gonna go swim next. I'm definitely recommend coming to this waterfall. It's the best in Bali I ever seen. I think it's the biggest one also. And there's not many people here, so it's still a really nice experience. Maybe during the high season there's more than others. It's really good. Cool. <laughs> this whole area is so cool. In the middle of the jungle. But it's yeah. Good to have a guide here because we would be very lost without him. Oh, lagoon! I think this is the last spot with the core. Secret waterfall. I mean, hidden waterfall, but first. And we have arrived to Kintamani, the last stop for the day. The weather is quite cloudy, so the view is not so well, but it's still pretty amazing. But yeah, I think you're supposed to come here for sunrise and it can be really, really amazing view. And yeah, my parents really love the waterfall, so it's a good experience for the day trip. And it's good to end here in Kintamani. There's so many new cafes here, even if the weather is not the greatest, it's still really beautiful here. And it's just a nice way to see even more things while doing this big day trip from Ubud. Good morning from our third villa here in Ubud. This is probably the greatest of them all. I really recommend having this kind of villa for the full Ubud experience. We're basically next to the rice fields and also there's some jungle behind us. It's really cool and it's nice design. It's from the same company that the previous one, so it's really nice design. And we managed somehow to get a deal for 10 million for seven nights. So it's not too expensive for two bedroom private villa in really nice location. I will also show you around here. Like it's just an awesome location. I Really recommend from all the locations we tried this kind of location where it's like more local. There's some Balinese events going on here all the time. There's rice fields, there's jungle. It's like the ultimate Ubud experience. And this is the bedroom where we are staying. It's pretty awesome. It's nice design and everything is well here. And I love the spot for work and it's pretty awesome. I also check the Wi-Fi. It's been pretty good. It's not the fastest ever, but works well. But yeah, it's just awesome to work with this view to the rice fields and the pool and everything. And it's really so much light in the pool because of the big windows everywhere. And it's really quiet here, as you can maybe hear in the video. It's just like some sounds of nature and animals. But yeah, it's really nice to stay in this area. And the bathroom is also really nice here. Super nice design. Yeah, I think it's definitely worth the money for the price we got this. So I highly recommend always to check the like uh, in person if you can get a nicer price and check the villas in person. Because in Ubud, for example, the first villa we were staying, it just wasn't so good. It was really kind of dirty and not well maintained. So it's of course always good to check in person just in case because there's so many villas like that in Ubud and guest houses that are quite bad to be honest so it's good to check in person to get one of these that are really really nice because there's a lot of those options also and yeah this is the outside area it's really chill here also like you can be in the sun beds taking some sun or here chilling there's a lot of space and that's the second bedroom my parents are in i'm not gonna show it now but this is the living room again really spacious really nice to have a inside living room kitchen dining area so it's not so hot and it's clean and yeah in the last villa and this is the same thing i really love that there's so much space and everything is inside and what's nice here also is that it's in this like uh, the entrance to the villa is here and it you come through this like a uh, balinese house and temple area so it feels like it's such a authentic experience and you really like kind of feels like you're living with the family here and in the evening we went to the nearby restaurant that is walking distance from the villa 
it was really nice to again see so many Balinese events and stuff going on. And the place was actually really cool, I never heard of it, but it just happened to be cl really close to the villa and it's just a really awesome place and the food was also pretty pretty good. And I put some videos here with reviews from all those restaurants we tried during our time in Ubud. There's basically so 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 many restaurants in Ubud that we definitely didn't have time to visit all of them yet, so this is just some of the ones that we knew that were good and some famous restaurants and just some random restaurants also we tried so there's definitely a lot of options that are probably even better than these but yeah these were just the ones that we tried we took the scooter and driving around around the villa we're staying now i really recommend if you have a scooter to stay in this area you will see like there's so much nice things it's such a ubud vibe you can experience local villages and balinese people walking around and having events rice fields jungle like it's everything here but also it's quite close to the center of ubud so it's really awesome experience to stay in this area It's funny, we were just driving around and suddenly there's this one village that is just full of these really cool white birds. It's so interesting, there's so many like local areas that are so different here. Yeah, Ubud is so cool. I would say that Ubud is still definitely the most like real Bali area you can stay in. It's definitely a must visit and also for longer stay, it's really good nowadays. The traffic is not too bad in the center area. There's quite much traffic, but with scooters not too bad. Even with car, it's never really stuck, so it's totally fine. And it's really nice to see the development of Ubud. There's still those like old classic Ubud places like Sayuri healing food is really cool. Experience for food is just really Ubud vibes. But at the same time, there's so many new restaurants and there's new gyms and activities like you saw the paddle. So I would say, yeah, for a longer stay, there's basically everything you need here. A lot of good food, activities and events and everything. There's sort of like musics and parties and events nowadays also. And also, of course, million things to see when it comes to nature and culture and temples and everything in this Ubud area, North Bali area, so yeah, it's definitely like a, just the best place to experience so much what Bali has to offer. And it's also easy to order food here and there's big supermarkets, so yeah, it's very suitable for long stay. But for us, there's still no beach, so it's not a place that I would probably stay for super long, but for a month or two sometimes it might be quite nice, but at least for a weekend or week holidays, perfect. But anyway, thanks for watching, see you next week, like and subscribe.